Yo, what's up guys, home, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can overclock your 60Hz monitor to 75Hz or like 144 to 165 I literally used to do this when I was still on 60Hz I think I overclocked my old Samsung monitor to like 75Hz and it's just super nice guys and gives you the biggest competitive advantage you can get naturally from your 60Hz monitor and if you guys enjoy content like this please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic but guys before we begin with today's tutorial I just I just want to mention something. I did this personally myself on my old Samsung LED monitor. I overclocked it to I think 74, 75 hertz, which worked out pretty well, nothing has happened. And if you do it correctly, normally nothing can literally happen because this is all like a built-in Windows feature. I'm gonna show you everything step by step, by the way. But I just wanna mention, it might maybe hurt your monitor. There's a small possibility. This possibility is insanely low. And I just have to say for myself, if you do it the safe way as I'm going to show you right now here in today's tutorial, nothing will happen literally. And yeah guys, now I'm going to show you step by step exactly everything you need to do to successfully overclock your monitor and in the first place we need to open up our NVIDIA control panel this works exactly the same way for AMD for you it's just like named a little bit different but overall you have like exactly the same settings in your AMD catalyst or how is it called the AMD software I don't even know right now but yeah just open up our NVIDIA control panel setting or your AMD one really it doesn't matter guys and then you can see right now here under the display category we're on adjust desktop size and position and in the first place to make this work a hundred percent I know for a fact that uh, some people can also keep it on full screen or no scaling or whatever they use, but the best way you should do it is aspect ratio, yeah? You should just put the check here on aspect ratio and um, put the check here on override the scaling mode set by the game and programs. Just simply put the check in there, guys, press apply. It's gonna maybe like give you a small black screen here real quick. And yeah, now we can also press like yes here. So we wanna override it. And this is the first step, guys. This is super, super important. I would probably recommend you this because, yeah, it's just like the best way to make sure that you can always like run a certain resolution scale on a game without like Windows messing up too much or messing up a run. So therefore, yeah, just overwrite this one here real quick. And as you can see down here, guys, you already have all the specs of your current monitor. For me, I'm running a 1080p 240Hz panel, which is the Zoe XL2546 a really common or known like 240Hz monitor and obviously for me it wouldn't make really sense right now here to overclock and I just want to address it real quick guys please only do this on like budget monitors because there's like this small small percentage that you might maybe harm or break your monitor and to be honest it's not really worth it to risk it to actually overclock like a 165Hz monitor to like 180Hz that's really not worth it we're, we're truly just gonna speak about all the people who are right now on 60 hertz or even below. I know there's like even something below. Uh, yeah, there are in fact like some screens which are like 50 hertz or something like that. Try to overclock those because I mean, though those are probably like more budget friendly, you know? So therefore if it breaks, you don't rip maybe like a $500 monitor. You know what I'm saying, guys? And then guys, all you need to do is simply go onto change resolution here on the display setting here. And then you can see right now here we've got all the presets of Windows, all the resolutions we can select pretty much. And here on the right side the refresh rate. For you it should say probably 1080p and 60Hz if you're like on normal 60Hz monitor or 120Hz. I mean you could theoretically also overclock a 120Hz monitor to 144. You could try it guys. I mean I can't stop you there. But personally I wouldn't say it really makes too much sense because you have this small percentage that you might hurt your monitor and that's really not worth it. And all you guys need to do then is click here on customize. Remember guys this is all built into Windows. We don't need any third party software. I know for the fact there are tons of um, programs with which you can do the same thing but we're just gonna do it here on Windows and then we have like this new window here which is called customize and then we're gonna just put the thing here on enable resolution not exposed by the display yeah we're gonna do this one here and now we can click on create custom resolution guys and then we have this new window here create custom resolution create a resolution that is not currently available in Windows your display may flicker a few times when testing a new custom resolution and this is where the Windows protection mode comes in clutch boys because if we apply a Hertz number which is not really supported by Windows our screen is just gonna turn black for 20 seconds and Windows is gonna go back to the old Hertz number or the old resolution whatsoever to stop hurting your monitor this is super nice guys and now all we have to do is just simply put in the resolution we want to 
play on, let's say you're playing on right now like a stretch resolution, let's say something like 1750 times 1080, let's say like that, and um, you're probably running right now a 60 hertz monitor. And guys, this is now super important since not every 60 hertz monitor is capable of 75, 80 hertz whatsoever because like every brand has like different panels and stuff. I would always recommend you to go up in one or two steps, which means try to go from like 60 to like 62 hertz. Now we're gonna click on test. Our screen is just gonna turn black for a second here. And as you can see, we can run it. Yeah, we can successfully apply it here. And um, yeah, our resolution should be fine. It's now gonna appear here in this custom resolution thing. And if we say like 62 hertz is fine, okay, it's working. Uh, let's try out maybe exactly the same thing here with 65 hertz, yeah? We're gonna again press on test here or 62, 63, 64, you know? Just always go up like a small amount of numbers uh, so you can always test out what is act actually the maximum hertz my monitor can support. But obviously since I'm running 240 hertz guys, I can put everything up there. But for you, the limit might maybe be something like 65, 70 hertz, something like that. As mentioned on my old um, Samsung monitor, my limit was 74 hertz. And you just have to try it out step by step here each time, as you can see, just as me right now here in the background. And if your display actually gets bright again after applying these settings, then um, you can be quite sure that this hertz number is supported by a monitor. Just simply press yes here. And if we see now the list, you can obviously delete all the older ones, which are like unnecessarily because if your monitor is capable of running 74 hertz or 75, 78, it's super, super different guys um, between each monitor manufacturer, you know, like each panel is a little bit different. Then we can of course delete the older ones because we don't need them. I mean, if we can run possibly a higher hertz number, we should obviously go for that one for the biggest competitive advantage on Fortnite. And let's say for an example now, if we put something like 76 hertz, yeah, and our screen doesn't turn bright guys, don't panic because as you can see, we've got here this small timer and after 13 seconds, I'm just gonna leave it now here so Windows like runs through it. As you can see, it's gonna go now in one second, literally back to the settings we had before because those are working. So if you put in a hertz number which is too high for your monitor, just wait 20 seconds and you know your limit. And let's say we already found out that 75 hertz is the maximum our monitor can do, then we just simply have to put in exactly the resolution we wanna play on Fortnite, which would be for me 1722 times 1070. And yeah, we're just gonna quick check here again, 75 hertz. Yes, sir. And this here, we're gonna just leave on automatic. We don't really have to care about this one here. Scan type, progressive, and then we're just gonna test it here again. And our monitor should turn up. And now we can see yeah, that this resolution is successfully applied. We're just gonna press yes here. And as you can see guys, if we now click onto it, it should here appear in this list. And now we can actually scroll down a little bit until we find, uh, scroll up here a little bit until we find our resolution. And if you might experience right now some black bars guys, then don't worry, all you have to do is go again into adjust desktop size and position and put in the full screen feature here. Just press apply guys with exactly the same resolution you had before. And now your whole entire window screen should be stretched because some monitors can do this automatically, just like mine. Like I can leave it on aspect ratio and it's still gonna fill out the whole entire monitor. Uh, but for some people, if it doesn't work and you have black bars on the side, obviously put it on full screen. But I know for a fact that full screen is not running 100% the best way. So therefore try to maybe do it with aspect ratio. But besides that, yeah, just leave it on full screen here guys. And we should be good to go with this feature. And just to double check real quick that we applied the resolution resolution correctly, um, just go into this drop down menu and select it one more time here, 1722 times 1070, 75 hertz, as you can see everything applied correctly guys. And yeah, now we pretty much can close this window here and your stretch resolution is applied correctly. As you can see my whole entire window screen now is set to 75 hertz, or more or less you can't maybe see it, or maybe you can right now because you were before on 60 hertz and now it's like more fluid, you know. But I can tell you guys, definitely going from 60 hertz to something like 75 hertz was a huge jump, especially when you like played the whole time on 60 hertz, and it is really noticeable. And yeah, guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace. Before, oh, come get inside. Dame Gucci 